Today's encouragement is this. A reminder of Luke chapter 5, right? Jesus, he was on the water in Peter's boat. Just got through preaching to many people. And after that, he told Peter, he said, Peter, I want you to lunch out into the deep. Now, Peter, he was confused because he had just told Jesus, we've been toiling all night looking for fish. We ain't caught Nathaniel. But you want me to go and lunch out into the deep again? Nevertheless, at your word. Now, that's powerful. Peter said, I'm going to do it. Peter went out, lunched out into the deep, caught so much fish, his own net broke. broke. And then he had to call other people to come and help him bring in the fish that they was catching. What am I trying to tell you? Some of us, we may not be seeing God's breakthrough in our lives, not because you're not in the right place, but you may be in the wrong position. Woo! Peter, he was in the right place. He was on the water, went catching Nathaniel. But when he got in the right position by the word of God, when he went deeper, that's when the breakthrough came. Some of us, you're not seeing God's best, not because you're not destined, but because you're not going deep enough. I'm praying so much, God, go deeper. I'm fasting so much, God, go deeper. I'm reading your word day and night, go deeper. You have to understand. God challenging you to go deeper because he don't want you to become comfortable and not miss and miss out on his covenant. Who am I talking to? Jesus told Peter, go back and do the very thing that wasn't working. Some of you, you done walked away from that gift and that very thing God done told you to do because you didn't see the results when you want it. But you have to understand results don't come by way of your want. It come by way of his word. And I want you to go and revisit that thing God has gifted you to do and go deeper in it and watch what happened. The breakthrough is yours. Let's go deeper. It's not enough.